First, we're gonna do final for you. Before, after I read. And first, all right, we're gonna a fishy story. One day, a fisherman and his wife went out in their boat and caught a nice big fish. Toss me back into the water, gulped the fish, and I will grant you and your wife whatever you wish. The fisherman and his wife looked at each other and wondered what to wish for. Oh, we have a way to find boat, said the fisherman. We have a fine house that is warm with us, said the fisherman's wife. We are... What? What? Gulp the fish. A tasty fish for dinner tonight, said the fisherman. So I... She looked at the fish with hungry eyes. Just indeed, agreed the fish. The fisherman licking his lips. Oh no! Gasped the fish. He leaped out of the boat. Splashed into the water. Swam its way as fast as they could. And so, the fisherman and his wife went home without a wish and without a fish. That night, they had pizza for dinner. Oh my gosh! And our last book for today is The Secret Hideway. Oh, it won't be long. The waterfall tumbler tumbled over the cliff and splashed into the pool below. This must be the best place in the whole world for a swim, said Mitch. As he rubbed himself dry, I thought you like it, said Dad. That could be our very own swimming pool, said Ben. Hey, Mom, what's for lunch? I'm starving. So the long walk through the valley this morning was a good idea after all, laughed Mom. Open one of the backpacks. They all lay back against the warm rocks eating their sandwiches, and throwing little pebbles in the wa into the water. That's not good. After a while, Dad said, it's time. We win. We must be back at the cabin before dark. You're right, said Mom, looking at her watch. Mitch and Ben put, pulled on their box and helped pack up. They followed the track that went down the ba through, down through the valley and over a hill. When they were near the top, it started to rain heavily. Water dripped from the trees and wet ferns brushed against them. We, we don't have far to go now, said Dad. But we still have to cross the stream, said Mom. And the summer rain could have made it rise. Soon they could hear the steam rush, stream rushing through below them. Look how fast the water's flowing, called Ben. It's all brown, too, said Mitch. I can't see the rocks now. It must have rained very heavily farther up the valley, said Dad. It's going to take a long time for it to go down. Far too high for us to cross it, but we may have to stay here for the night. There's another way to have the point. I remember there used to be a swing bridge for the line downstream. You stay here while I go and check. The rain is stopping, said they. They came back a short time later. But that bridge won't be any use. The wood has rotten. Most of it has fallen down. We're not worried, laughed Mom. Come over here, Dad, shouted the boys. Look. Well, 
while you were away, we found this cave, said Mitch. Someone else must have used it too, said Ben. They left a pile of ferns. We can't sleep on them. This is just what we want, said Dad. We'll be one there and draw in there. If there's no more rain tonight, the stream will go down and we will be able to cross it in the morning. This cave will be our secret highway in this valley, said Mitch. It's much better than the cabin. Right, said Dad. Now let's see what we got in our packs to make us comfortable for the night. Dad and Ben spread the ground sheet over the pile of dry ferns in the cave. Once we open up the sleeping bag and put it around all of us, said Dad, we'll be warm enough. We'll be as snug as four bugs in a rug, grinned Ben. Yeah. Is there more words over there? No. Okay, what are we going to eat as much? There wasn't much food left. After we had lunch at the waterfall. We might have to boil up a stove in the cooking pot, said Fuck. We can have some stones, too. Oh, Baham, God, bitch. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I got something bigger. But then, she said, uh, I'm doing a pocket inside her backpack. Uh, I forgot about the survival kit, said Mitch, as he watched Mom put the rice and dried vegetables into the cooking pot. <laughs> this is really fun after all, said Mitch. Later that evening, as they sat around their campfire singing songs and toasting marshmallows, I've always wanted to sleep into a cave, said Ben. I'm glad it rained and we found our secret hideaway. All right! The final category is the great state. We'll be right back. So the category for final, you have to name a fish for water. Here is the clue. <laughs> the name of this fish is named in a Galapagos rainforest as it has rainbow films about anything. Good luck. You have 30 seconds. <laughs> Not good? Okay, Peter Sam, we start with you. You came up with? Correct response? Yes. Wager? Oh! Nothing! You're gonna finish in third, but, but Charlie, we go over to you. We go over to you. This is the Tournament of ch Champions. All books, games, and you came up with an incorrect response. So it'll cost you all everything. You dropped to zero. Let's go to Percy. He came up with. He came up with. What is connect for? No. Wager? A bundle. You're gonna finish in second place, but. You're gonna, you're gonna finish in first place, and Percy, you're the new champion. And we'll go back to our regular shows tomorrow. So long.